So guys, good evening, good evening from me. Today, we are ready to smash the smart money concept, something that it's uh, going widely on the internet. And uh, so far, I believe without being 100% uh, sure that I believe that from the certified technical analyst out there, maybe I'm the only one that is taking on board and uh, embrace the smart money concept as part of, of what we call CFD or leverage trading. So, and today, uh, as it's the last uh, webinar of um, our um, of our six series of webinars, let's say we uh, conduct so far, I would like to introduce you to uh, the smart money concepts with the order block strategy. Now, it's one of the most powerful. Uh, ways of trading the order blocks in um, in the financial market and definitely it's something i would like you to uh, to learn it very very well good evening kalechiogu uh excited for the webinar absolutely nikleta good evening uh, thanks for joining us <laughs> so Guys, let's start, of course, with a disclaimer uh, to ensure that um, you everybody and everybody understand that this content is for general information only and is not intended to provide trading or investment advice or any kind of personal recommendations. Now, for those who perhaps join us for the first time, my name is Theo. I'm uh, the founder and chief analyst at the Market Minds Mastery um academy i will send you also the website you can check it out as for my expertise and experience so i hold certification as a certified financial technical analyst from the society of uh, technical analysts in the uk and from the international federation of technical analysts i trade for more than 11 years so far uh, i started from early state of my career i had that kind of more intuition into the currency trading rather than anything else. Uh, but when it comes down to investing, I prefer to invest in mainly in cryptocurrencies and to some shares. And on a daily basis, I deliver market analysis for hedge funds and trading uh, firms like our lovely The Trading Tips, of course. I create educational courses for trading and investing. I publish articles in reputable financial magazines, and I hosted events with traders, names like Steve Ninson, John Bollinger, Daniela Kale, and many more. So guys, before we start, please make sure you leave all your questions and comments on the chat below. I will just say hello, everyone. Maybe some people, they don't know where to find it, so just. You can reply back to that webinar chat. Um, and yeah, along we go. Please enjoy the webinar. Make sure that if something doesn't make sense, feel free to ask. This webinar, it's for you. And the, the point is uh, you live from this webinar and you are able to execute. Okay, for me, knowledge, just sitting there is something you know, it's useless but we need to move to action all right so we will explain what is smart money in trading okay we will explain on how to identify smart money on the chart and of course my favorite setup is the order block uh, but on a specific formation and i will explain you that uh, we will learn the high quality order blocks and the market structure of course we're going to uh, refresh our memory on that and i will give you specific rules and steps on how to trade i'm telling you you i want you to leave the webinar and to know i do step one step two step three and that's it i place a trade okay um patrick asked Will we get a report from the webinar after? Definitely, it's gonna be uh, posted on the YouTube channel, okay? So what is smart money in trading? Now, smart money, guys, refers to 
professional traders who significantly influence the market. Okay, and I I want to eliminate and avoid any kind of confusion here, guys. Remember and and please add this in your uh, in your trading. The way you explain something you see on the chart, the words you use, the terminologies you use, they impact your trading decisions. If you are referring to smart money, you primarily referring to people or group of people who move the markets because they have the capital to do that so. Okay, it's not a trading methodology when you refer to smart money. Okay, smart money, we call them um in a nice way we call the smart and dub money okay it's just terminologies but they are not primarily um, a trading setups themselves okay i hope that's clear so this kind of traders they might trade uh on the institutional level they might trade in large banks and often they have access to um high frequency trading okay so how what is the uh what is the conclusion from this terminology of smart money we have to accept as prop firm traders and retail traders that the idea of smart money exists in the market okay the idea that this concept exists that's what we have to accept at first place. Then we want to become skillful to identify the smart money trader who might enter the market and create that, that impulsive move. Okay. And we need a strategy to take advantage of that. But the strategy doesn't mean always a winning outcome the strategy it it simply means we have the steps and we go for high probability setups and we just let the average play in our favor okay so how to identify where are these areas on the chart we can use different tools to find this out we can use volume analysis we can analyze the volume parts they appear on on bars if we add them on the chart and where there is a significant spike it shows that there is vast interest from primarily from the market movers okay we call them more smart money traders the traders who move the money anyhow we can use technical indicators like uh, on the obv on balance volume and if you if you um so on our block here at the trading pit when i put the analysis out sometimes i use the obv indicator because it's very very good and uh, if you don't know i will show you later on how to access on the on the website the the, the weekly analysis and accumulation distribution it's another great indicator other traders they use price action i'm one of these traders um, I will explain you some type of candlestick patterns, especially my favorites are the engulfings. Okay, I trade them day in, day out, just engulfings, and they show where the significant, um, the significant shift in momentum uh, took place on the market. Other traders, they might use market profile, like the study of volume distribution to uh, pinpoint areas of high volume trading and other traders they use the cto report it's not something i personally use uh, refers to um the the positions anyhow on the on the market but because everything in my opinion uh is most likely a lacking information that it follows afterwards what we primarily want to focus i believe it's the price action that it um explain things 
faster, okay? So the order block setup, guys, uh, we're gonna also leave five minutes later to go on the, on the chart and see some, some setups, the recent one from today's, from yesterday's. So, but let's start with the, with the setup, how it looks like and what we are looking for when we uh, talk about order blocks. Well, an order block in trading refers to a specific price level where significant buying or selling activity occur. Okay, the word significant, it's important here, guys. Why? Because if there is no significant move from a, from a specific point, uh, from a specific price level, maybe it's not going to be that attractive in the near future. You will understand what, I'm, what I mean by that. Okay, so we want to identify significant buying or selling activity. Now, how we will identify it? Well, we will pay attention to the price action. Now, what this represents, it represents a cluster of orders from smart money traders, or if you want to rename that, you can put, put, put it down like the, the market uh, movers, okay, uh, who, who trade that significant volume and they can, um, move the market in, a di in any direction. So, and the price often, uh, price charts often identify order blocks as either consolidation or directional solid movements. Okay, consolidation, it's like when the price moves in a uh, sideways environment and then a directional move occur. Or when the price, moves in a for example downtrend and then you see kind of strong impulsive move we see this primarily on the japanese yen uh, currency pairs <laughs> so the four order block setups that uh, i encourage you to learn and use them is the engulfing setups we have two categories the engulfing setups and the long let um, weak setups. Either some people they can call it in a different shape, but similar to this one, they can we call it hammer, or this one here we call it um, gravestone, dodgy candle, or if it has a little bit more. But if you are familiar with candlesticks and we and and shorter wick, we call it shooting star. Okay, but that's not the point how we call it. You can call it anyhow you want. It's the implication and what do they mean? That's the most important, guys. So let's start with a bullish engulfing. It's crucial to understand what is a bullish engulfing. It's not just the second candle engulfs the previous party's candle, or even it's even if it's gonna be longer, engulfs the previous candle. It's the significant that the market shift its momentum over uh, two candles. And why this is very important? Because if the price moves downwards and at some point a force that is not only equal but it's bigger in, uh, in momentum, in volume, makes the price to change direction, especially if you identify this at the level of support, it's a significant information. That's where the, the smart traders, I, we are all smart traders, you are a smart trader. Everyone is a smart trader in my opinion. Let's say the market movers, okay? They enter here on this significant volume to push the and, and they change the direction of the market guys okay so this is a powerful setup it's a two candle con combination and oppositely we have the bearish engulfing candles when you see the analysis or if you are constantly read our blog on the weekly market outlook you will see on the analysis i named them bearish engulfing order block bullish engulfing order block all the analysis pretty much in every time frame, they have these, um, these setups here because it's the most powerful setup. Okay, they show us clearly that the sellers 
interrupt the buyers and they are willing to push the price lower. So we will see examples and I will explain you exactly how to take advantage of that. Okay, it's not just, it's not only um, important to know how to identify them. We want to ensure that we take advantage of that. And as I said, it's a probabilistic outcome. Okay, next one. It's um, the candles with long wicks easier. They show the shift in momentum within one period with the same period. If this is a daily chart or an hourly chart or a four hour time frame, 15 minutes, doesn't matter. They show the shift in momentum within one candle. They are also powerful. And usually we use as order blocks, they are weeks. Okay, in a nutshell. Again, I have examples and we will go through. And the same with this one here. The market, um, it's moving upwards. And at some point, there is, let's say, a weekly high. And the market hit that weekly high. That's a strong resistance. And it, it, print, it prints this um, upper wig rejection or the, um, the gravestone dodging. What a name they give to that one. I, okay <laughs> on the op on the opposite you find the dragonfly okay if this one had only a line here with a very tiny body we would have called it the dragonfly so uh, you can take some screenshots you can uh, write this down guys let's go to the examples okay so high quality order blocks we have in this example here it's um it's a trade we actually took on the pound Australian dollar on the hourly time frame, and that was uh, that played out yesterday. So what happened here is that the market on the higher time frame, I will now I'm going a little bit forward, but don't worry, I'm gonna give you all the steps at the end so you will know we do step one, step two, step three. Okay, so from the higher time frame analysis, we identify that we primarily going to look for short positions on the pound Australian dollar. And then how we want to enter the market, as it's written on the steps later, well, we identify the bearish engulfing order block, guys. And it's this one here. The market moved beyond, beneath that bearish engulfing order block, okay? And we were ready to take the trade when it retraced back upwards to retest this area. Simple as that, okay? That's how it looks like. It engulfs the, it engulfs the, whole, previous, um, the whole previous candle. And guys, something please to understand. Um, this type of things, I put them in a course of uh, 10, 12, 14, hours okay uh it's impossible within 45 minutes or 50 minutes if i stretch out a little bit the webinar to give you all the information okay so um and if you like this concept and if you want us to do more webinar on this one you can of course let us know and uh, we are happy to to listen to you and um, perhaps continue with uh, smart money um concept setups more deep uh trading activity on that and so on the next one is the bullish engulfing order block guys again from the same currency pair and that was last week if i recall we had a support level and at this support level we identify on the hourly time frame a bullish engulfing order block here and in the next three Three sessions after, three hourly sessions after, within the same day, it been retested and moved upward. Okay, that's the bullish and golfing order block. Powerful setup for more experienced trader. Also, this is a double bottom, and I will give you a hint about the double bottoms. I see traders they, uh, for example, go at any time frame and they identify this, and then the market makes three, four candles upwards, a couple of candles move downwards, reject it, and they say, oh, okay, 
here we have a double bottom. In technical analysis, the rule for a double bottom, it's about three to four weeks. If you convert it in candlestick lines, let's say it's about 15 to 20 candlestick lines. So as a general rule, the way I will help you to understand and implement the double bottom, just in any time frame you're going to look at the double bottom, just make sure it has at least 15 to 20 candles apart um, the, the richest of the, of the support. Okay, just in a nutshell. That's the bullish engulfing. Then bullish shorter block with the rejection of the of the lower week. That's the WTI, and it's on the analysis. But we did the four hour time frame analysis on our block, and I will show you as well that one. So what did the price at this point? Um, how did the price react it here? It created a new low. It continued. It was coming from up. It made a lower low, retested this S1 support, and then left this week behind, this one here. And guess what? Instantly, it created a new market structure. It created a new high. It showed that not only the shift in momentum took over that, on that support, but also the market created a new high, a high at, at point A, that is higher than the high at point B. So what, what's the uh, information behind? It's like buyers are demanding the control here. So um, this one here, it was a nice form order block. Okay. Now, I understand that it's easier for a beginner trader especially to to be used on this two candle formation it like it, it like it works psychologically a bit uh, it's it like it's more confirmed and again even if you guys was, were waiting for this one here the market gave the entry here as well so it was uh, equally beneficial okay This one, I think it's from the Euro Canadian dollar on the hourly time frame. Yep, it's written here. So, bearish and golfing order block. The price tested, okay, because I, I, I put it on a, on a slideshow and it's not possible to have the, uh, the chart zoom in and at the same time have all the data from the chart. So, that's why we don't see the, the prices here. But that was a strong resistance. So what happened here? We identify the resistance. Did we know? Did we know that the price will uh, react from the resistance and it's going to move downwards? No, we didn't know that. We didn't know if the resistance will hold. And especially the lower time frame you go, guys, the more detail. Um, you must be, you must put more detail in that. Okay. So at this point here, the price was moving upwards and rejected. Okay. So the price rejected. What does it tell you? We can two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 candles only. Now is it a double top? <laughs> Good question. Well, we said 15 to 20, Theo, 13. What should we do? Okay, guys, it's uh, every trader decides and, and I enact based on how they think. And uh, okay, that's nobody will judge you if you say this is a double top, of course. I mean, everything is good. So at this point here, we identify that the market didn't manage to move higher and it got rejected. Now, price action traders, they are in a rush to enter short from here because of the fear of missing out to any trade, okay? But using this, how we're going to call it now, the smart money um, idea that we understood that 
possibly the large traders they're going to enter the market now we have to let them play out we have to let them show us if they're going to move the market and as this swing low here it was the swing that created this false breakout this false breakout at point a and after that it follow a low that is lower than this low here it shows a directional move so we could have used this order block and anticipate the price to come in this area and take action okay now if you ask me how i will have trade that one i will show you right now we are going to see the steps that we can follow a question do you analyze only on one hour for higher probability i will show you right now that's a great question so the order block setup guys we usually use order blocks as potential support or resistance okay i assume that you already understand that if an order block acted as support in the past we might expect it that it has a high probability that it's going to come back to that area and retest it again so that's that that's how we play actually the 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 order block trading and uh, on the other side if it's going to retest a resistance like we saw it here we do expect that it's going to retrace back it's going to after it moved downwards then it's going to decline at some point and it's going to it's going to bounce off excuse me and it's going to move upwards to retest that area again now guys pay attention to that order blocks that have never been tested in the recent past in the most recent past they uh, they have more significance as a high probability order blocks than those they have been tested multiple times okay uh, another question omardo asks would this also work for indices absolutely yes 100 percent 100 percent now let's get excited a little bit and uh, check the rules and the steps we're gonna follow through guys by the way just before i forget uh just bear with me for a second oh, for those who are new here again allow me to tell you that market minds mastery website is official now you can find us at marketmastery.com and um, we offer many services of course but for individual traders the most important you can scroll down individual traders and you're going to see the one-on-one -on -one coaching okay you can uh, i also have a free book here with the very basics if you are a, a very beginner here yeah, that's for you but if you are of course if you are trading for a while um that's uh if you want to download it and read it it's a very short one and small compact now one-on-one -on -one coaching it's crucial for traders i used to um to have coaching sessions for many years with my mentors okay if you don't know me first time you see me feel free to book a free 15 minute introduction session. i'm more than happy to to listen to you to see what you need what you want and how can i help you and uh yeah you can book from the calendar here but if you also know what are you doing and trading and you really need to get things to take them to the next level feel free to sign up for any of them uh, of the packages here usually uh, six to ten sessions is what most traders need now if you need something more customized please feel free to contact about us contact us here sorry okay and i will receive your emails directly don't be afraid that you're going to say something is wrong or nothing is wrong nothing is um, anything negative in trading okay we are all humans and i understand every trader here so let's go back to the rules now 
Step one, guys, write this down. We go on the weekly chart, and uh, I think it was Omarto, no, not Omarto, Chunkumo asked where to do the analysis. So I start from the weekly time frame, guys. On the weekly, and I like to keep things simple, very simple. Trading must be as simple as it can be, okay? Try to keep things simple and not over complicated. So, mark the high and the low on the weekly chart. These are the higher probability areas that they're going to act as support and resistance. Even if you go down to the five or one minute time frame, you're going to see how the price um, react at these areas on the weekly. Okay. And if you see on the analysis, also on our block, I put for red color the resistance and for um, green color the support, and I name them S1, R1, and if they are inside or something, just to make your life easier. Then I give you the analysis. We give you the analysis on the block every single week, guys. So please engage with that, and it's extremely helpful. After, we want to go on a daily chart, okay? And that's the step number two. On the daily chart, I primarily try to do the analysis. If the market is trending, and if it's trending, then um, if it's moving upward or downward, or if it's ranging, or if it's just going sideways and we don't understand what's going on, that's also fine, okay? Don't try to explain everything that happens in the market. If the chart does not make sense, it means there is nothing information to, um, to take advantage there. Okay, so in this particular one, it was the WTI, the US oil. And again, you, you have this analysis as well on the block. From We see that moving averages, they were pointing upwards. And if you don't know, sorry, if you don't know how to do the analysis, you can use uh, moving averages in case the market makes higher highs and higher lows. It's lagging indicator, but they capture the trends really well once the market uh, develops a trend. You can use horizontal lines for support resistance, and you can use Fibonacci retracement tools. Okay, now if you want to add indicators and oscillators like MACD or RSI, feel free to do that. You can validate more the information. So in this point here, the price was making this swing high from this low to this high. Then we have the 61.8 Fibonacci here. That was in alignment with the support, the weekly support. So from uh, last Monday, so two days ago, we were looking primarily to go long on this one. Okay. Then the, 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 the third step is the execution. Now, I will give you the um, how do we execute, and then we will show it. We will see it on the chart. So we go down to the four-hour time frame. We identify if there is an order block. There are times that the the setup at the support, if we are looking to buy, it, 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 it we don't see an, we don't see the order block we want to see the high probability order block. It doesn't mean that the market might not push upwards, but it's the way we decided to trade for high probability setups. Okay. If we go like this on the four hour time frame, backing up from the higher time frame, the daily chart and the weekly, that, yeah, we are looking for that bullish move, then it's okay to place the limit order to get filled once the price moves backwards into the order block. Do you guys understand this? Is that clear? Now, some tips here. As you are trading in the higher time frame, I'm referring particularly on this one here, placing the limit order, it's okay without any further um, check on the price action because we are trading primarily the, the higher time frame using a lower time frame for an entry so we can get filled in a better price area with a, a better stop loss placement. Now, if you want to take it further and you want to execute, let's say, on the hourly time frame, 
you definitely need to check the, the daily price action. You can write this down, it's not on the slide. If you want to enter on the hourly time frame, definitely check the daily price action. As well as if you want to trade on the 15 or five minute, one minute chart, you must wait at that point for the price to play within this order block and show you reversals and rejections and uh, and new higher highs and higher lows okay guys how does it looks like on the four hour chart remember we said we go down to the four hour time frame we find there is an order block if there is an order block there and we place the limit order so this week Again, that's a zoom in on the four hour chart on the WTI or US oil at the 61.8% Fibonacci area. And uh, that's the um, just slightly below the support from the weekly chart. The price, I think that was on Monday, guys. The price created this long week rejecting this support here. At this point here, if uh, if you are a new trader, maybe you don't perceive this as a valid information. Maybe you are skeptical. That's okay. But moving forward on uh, Tuesday, I think that was the next day, the price created this order block. Do you guys see that? This order block here. Why it's an order block? Because it's a bullish engulfing candle. The high of the second and the low of the second candle totally engulfs the previous candle from its high to its low very very lucrative and um and and high probability order block bullish engulfing order block so after that we could place we have to wait actually for the price to move upwards but in this case here you monitor the price and you see that multiple rejections at some point you have to decide to as the trigger actually okay now ideally we want to place the limit orders maybe after you see this order block here guys after you see this one and then you say okay there is one more here you can place the price it's right there you can place a limit order at this level here right at the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement so you get fuel in better price and you can hide your stop loss below the most recent swing low okay you can um, enter here it says at the cluster of both order blocks okay guys uh questions so far or i will go to the the chart omando asks do order blocks have similarities with supply and demand omando the order blocks they we i let's reverse it we identify the supply and demand based on significant order blocks nicoletta asked this is um this is a complex topic could you recommend any further readings about order blocks to us um absolutely but i don't know if there are books they've been there are so many so many things on uh, on youtube okay um i haven't completed a course yet on the order block but i will definitely do it and it's going to be a long one because yes it's a bit complex okay um hendrik asks uh if you look at your trading journal which percentage probability do you have with the order block setup strategy that's a great question now guys every um i personally if you ask me personally i have about 42 uh, sorry 52 percent or 40 percent with the order block setup but i trade them primarily as swings here okay and i know traders they trade them on the uh on the 15 minute time frames on the one minute time frame and they have pretty much similar results but for me it works better if i do them on the four hour time frame because that's what aligns with my my trading personality if you 
put it that so. Uh, of there are times I trade also the hourly time frame, but mainly I'm stick with the four hour charts. The engulf will so mask the engulfing candle that you mentioned is an indication of a bullish trend, even if the low of the engulfing candle breaks the low of the previous candle. The answer is yes, if the engulfing will continue the price move upward and create a new high in the market. Okay. Uh, guys, let's check the let's check the trading platform now. Okay. I think we're here. Oh. So, guys, can you see my screen? Do you see the trading platform? Just type a quick yes to make sure we are on the right screen. Yes, yes, thank you. So, uh, this one here, guys, the, for example, the pound Canadian dollar on the weekly chart. Uh, I know that it's not a currency pair that many of you might trade in, but again, I don't know what's going on. Many traders, they say, ah, oh, we want to trade only uh, the Euro US dollar and this and that, and I understand it, but um, for me is I trade the setups. I don't trade the markets because how do I know when they're gonna have moves? When there is a move, I take advantage. So. It's, it's nothing wrong to look at the markets in general. Okay, so at this point here, guys, we identify weakness on the weekly chart and we marked it as the uh, resistance. Then on the daily chart, um, two days ago, we saw, we first we knew that we want to sell. So we didn't rush to buy anything here. But on this particular one there, after we saw the rejection on Monday, this bearish candle with the week, the upper week, on Tuesday, we would like to take advantage of that. So you could go after you confirm the reversal on the daily chart. It increases the probability of a positive outcome if you're going to go short and you go on your hourly time frame for example and that was on tuesday and as you see here the market moved directionally from this point to this point down here creating this massive bearish marabozu candle significantly larger candle than any of the candle in the next in the previous days so we can see where this move started and it was from this bearish and go from here so the step number one was to mark the high and the low on the weekly chart so we know our range the second one was if we want we identify the market structure on the daily chart and if we're going to be the buyer the seller or if we're going to stay aside and if we want to trade on a lower than a four hour time frame, I encourage you to double check with the price action. You want the reversal price action on the daily chart to increase your probabilities for a positive trade. So at this point here, the bearish engulfing as we explained, and we had two options, either we, uh, some traders, they might want it to execute on a 15 or 5 minute chart, so they had to go and wait for price to play within this order block and maybe create a new lower low and lower high. But for me, I keep things extremely simple. I place a limit order here with a stop loss on this particular one, about 30 pips. On the majors, I place a stop loss about um, 20 to 25 pips. But on pairs like the Euro Aus, Euro New Zealand, Pound Aus, Pound New Zealand, they have wider spread. And on the Japanese yen pairs as well, I go uh, at least 30 pips. Okay. And I target just two to one. So uh, in, uh, in our prop firm, uh, 
uh, at the trading pin when we trade here because this occurred at some point right at the news event maybe we wouldn't be uh, able to get filled or that would be a, a valid trade but definitely afterwards the the trade was still validated it entered multiple times in this order block and we just need to be patient control our emotions and let the market do its thing there are two scenarios either the market enters here plays a little bit and then it takes our stop loss and we experience a losing trade and we move on to the next one or the market did what it did here and it takes us to the take profit okay one of the two things now uh, again if you want to trade one minute chart or five minute charts nothing wrong with that it just need much more uh, analysis and it's uh, I, I we don't have the privilege of time to go through on this uh, on this webinar the other one guys if you see here on the by the way if you are new here you go on our website the tradingpit.com you go here at tool section you click on the block and you're going to see the market outlook every week i make it extremely simple for you we write all the events here in a way that it's easy to read them and understand them take the uh, the setups and work your entries so um all of them they were very actually this week was one of the very very uh spot on weeks for example the australian dollar us dollar on the four hour time frame i tried to give you the analysis here on the four hour chart so if you are trading the 15 minute chart the hourly time frames at least you have a little bit better levels to work with okay and at this point here we marked the inside support at this level here okay and it was just above this consolidation on the actual chart after it played out you see guys this is the same one the price came here at this inside support and multiple multiple consolidation and it bounced upward and now it's moving upward okay uh if you that's the one hour time frame on the four hour time frame it looks like this okay this kind of rejection but you could use that in your advantage if you are a 15 minute trader or five minute trader you see okay here it's an inside support i do expect based on the analysis uh, the higher time frame it's, it moves upward so we do expect it that this market is going to continue moving upward and we're going to work our way to um to trade accordingly uh, and many many other many other things now i lost it where is it anyway the us oil for example and here it's a good I know we stretch it a little bit more guys but bear with me it's very very important as well to understand when not to take the order blocks and this is a great example like it's the one we explained on the slides earlier the wti and this week we had this support here if you check the block you're going to see on the analysis that we had this level on the chart that's the previous week's low last previous week's low the price rejected multiple with these two uh, bullish order blocks and it moves upwards now where until where it was the room of opportunity to take advantage it was right here at this bearish engulfing order block do you guys see that this bearish engulfing order block here that for me is not tradable why why is not tradable it is a bearish and engulfing order block extremely well defined maybe it's going to give the best trade afterwards but it's a low probability order block can you assume why simply the the reason is because the the primarily momentum is towards the north the price on the higher time frame moves upward so at this point here the price might gonna reject 
It might gonna come down and mitigate some of this area here. And again, if you are new to ortho block setups and what is mitigation and what is uh, unfilled gaps and all this stuff, honestly, if you want, we're gonna do more webinars and explain you everything it's possible to be explained on, on the time we have on our disposal. But this area here, maybe it's gonna get filled and maybe this order block now it's going to take place as a valid order block for the price to continue moving upward so imagine the traders they try to enter here believing that this is the order block that it's going to lead the market to a downtrend it's a low probability event to happen okay guys so I'm not saying it can't happen. In trading, anything can happen. But we are saying that it's a low probability. So, um, and low and high probability setups are in uh, every trader's um, uh, in, in in every trader's thought if they want to take these kind of setups. Okay. Omando asks, so to be clear, supply and demand is made up of a cluster of order blocks? Pretty much, yes. Most of the time, yes. If we can say that this is um, easier to define the supply and demand, then yes. That's very, very well um, explanation. Thank you for that. So, guys, I think that's all from me today. Um, Alex, can you hear us? I think that's all from me today. Uh, thank you so much for the participation. Uh, if we're not going to continue the webinars, uh, it was um, it was one of the best experiences in my. Uh, trading uh, trading career uh, yeah or perhaps we will uh, see the the audience again <laughs> Dio, thank you very much thank you very much for the energy sorry i was here <clears throat> accidentally i was muted i love the energy i love the knowledge that you brought on the table and i really love the interaction from so many people joining our webinar today so really thank you for your time really thank you for the energy really thank you for the willingness to share knowledge uh, uh theo and thank you every single one of you that you were here with us today thank you so much for having me it was a pleasure uh, a pleasure to work pleasure with you hosting guys. you pleasure hosting <laughs> smart people with uh, such a high energy theo thank you very much for everything <laughs> thank you thank you love you all Oh. and uh, hopefully to see you soon who knows <laughs> hopefully see you soon let's see what's up next okay thank oh, you guys okay. bye you can all see the recorded video on bye. the official website or on the official youtube channel of the trading pit uh you can find all theo's webinars over there because we have a last question so thank you theo thank you everybody have a great night ahead thank you bye everyone bye, bye. bye.